Hello Libra, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the energy of karma. We're going to see what the karma is for the person that hurt you when it comes to love. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be the karma of the person that hurt you. Not your karma, but the karma of the person that hurt you. All right, so Libra, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for the karma of the person that hurt you is the Three of Swords. We also have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, okay? So when it comes to this person that hurt you, they're going to get heartbroken or they have suffered some type of heartbreak, okay? I do feel as though um, they got involved with someone and that person may have put them in a third party situation. Regardless, they feel left out in the cold and they're also having some financial issues. Whoever they were dealing with, that person's gonna end up ghosting them or they have ghosted them and it's gonna hurt the person that hurt you a lot, okay? I do see that you were dealing with someone very selfish, someone that's just all for themselves, okay? They got involved with someone or they will get involved with someone that they think is gonna be wish fulfillment for them, but they're gonna end up feeling very alone, okay? And like I said, also suffering from some financial issues. Also, for some of you, I feel like um, money makes this person happy. So if you know your person is materialistic, that's one reason why spirit is affecting them through their money. Okay, because it's to humble this individual. All right, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into this person's karma. But first, let's look more into this overall energy. Okay, so when it comes to this person, I told you guys, spirit is going to be affecting them in their pockets, okay? In their pockets. Their um, financial situation has definitely taken a turn. I do feel as though they moved forward with someone because of what that person had. So they saw this other person as someone that may have had a lot of money or may own their own business or something of that nature, OK, they took action when it came to that person because they thought that this person would elevate them, but they're going to end up getting left. OK, and once this person gets left, they're going to try to return back to you. But they don't know if you will accept them back because this person was very inconsistent and very much a player. I feel as though um, there were times where you felt like this person either didn't have enough time for you or that they were juggling other people. I do see that you guys were... You used to have or you did have very negative thoughts surrounding yourself or in your mind when it came to this person. I feel like you used to think a lot about this person playing around on you or dealing with other people behind your back. OK, you would think about that a lot. And so at this point, you guys are really thinking head above heart when it comes to this person, especially when it comes to working on things with them. Because like I said, for some of you, you're definitely going to hear from them wanting to work things out with you. They're going to want to balance out this situation. But spirit is saying that this person is giving their time and energy to someone else that they've been keeping a secret. For some of you, they moved on with someone from their past or they, they reconciled with someone from their past. But whoever they're dealing with, that person doesn't know that they want to reconcile with you. Okay? This person is reminiscing about you a lot. They think a lot about how they delayed giving you what it is that you deserve. So I feel like this person would just take their time in the past. Like they just did whatever they thought was best for them without thinking about what was best for the two of you. They're also afraid that you may have turned your back on them completely and that really stresses them out. Like I said, they're not satisfied with whoever they offered to, okay? But they know that you have your guard up. You guys are definitely guarded because you know this person plays a lot of mind games. There's someone that you definitely can't trust. I feel as though you guys... Like people would either tell you things that this person was doing or deceptive things that this person was doing. Regardless, there were red flags in the situation. Even if they would say things themselves that would cause you to put your guard up. Like this person might would tell on themselves or something like that. But you guys have your guard up when it comes to this person. So 
when um, they come back around giving you attention, I feel like you're not going to buy into it because you see this person as a burden. That's the main reason why you guys have ended things with them or you're wanting to. Okay. But since the relationship ended, this person is regretting how they treated you. Okay. They're regretting it. I feel like this person put you through so much in the past. There have been times that, especially when the relationship first ended, I feel like you guys were really stuck in your head with thinking about all of the things this person did wrong to you. Okay? Like, you may, felt, you may have felt as though the good outweighed the bad in the relationship, but it made you stronger. And now, you're not putting up with any of this person's crap, whether it's from them or whether it's from someone else. Okay. I do see that this person, they still have a lot of love for you and they are wanting to move forward and be in a relationship. They're wanting a new start. So for some of you, you're going to hear out, hear from this person out of nowhere, but do keep in mind that they're still being sneaky and they're not going to be telling you about another lover that they started a new relationship with. See, they started something new with someone else, but they're going to lie to you about it. Hmm. For some of you, your person um, is very materialistic or they have like, <sighs> this person is either very materialistic or um, they'll do toxic things for money. I saw something like this in someone else's reading. I think it was Scorpio's reading. But yeah, this person will do toxic things. Also, if you live with this person or if you were with them for a long time, they may have caused a lot of instability in the home with their devil energy. Okay? But yeah, keep in mind, this is going to be an emotional, not emotional, but a manipulative love offer. So spirit wants you to hold back when it comes to this magician because I feel like they're going to try to sweet talk you. But some of you have blocked this person. For others of you, they may have blocked you. If you block them, they're trying to reach out to you. Also, this person doesn't know how to communicate effectively. For some of you, um, for some of you, this person's going to want sex. They're going to want sex. But spirit is saying, hold back. Hold back from that because for some of you, if you're able to have children, this person would try to have a child with you to keep you from going anywhere. See, they would try to have a child with you to keep you from moving forward or to try to tie you down or something like that. Hmm. But yeah, this is some. Oh, I tell you. Yeah. This is someone that wants growth with you. They want growth, but at the same time, they're very controlling. For some of you, they may have a bad temper. I do see that um, for a few of you, whoever you, were whoever you were dealing with or whoever this person is that hurt you, they may have caught an STD. Or they will be. This person is also spying on you to see if you've moved forward with anyone else. Like I said, they're wanting to reconcile, but spirit is saying to hold back because you wouldn't be satisfied with this person. It's almost like when you were giving them your time and attention, their focus was elsewhere, but the, the tables are going to be turned and this person's going to be offering to you, but some of you are not going to be interested. Mm, see, this is going to be a toxic offer. It's coming out again. For some of you, they're going to be offering to you because they need money. See, this is a sweet talker. This is someone that will manipulate you or try to manipulate you. And if they apologize, they don't really mean it. They just want to get back in your good graces. Wow. Okay, and give me more spirit. What is this three of swords about for the karma of this person that hurt Libra? What is this three of swords about spirit? What's this three of swords about? It was definitely someone they offered to. What is the three of swords about spirit? Okay. Why is the three of swords here for the karma of the person that hurt Libra? Why is the three of swords here? See, someone they got in a relationship with. I told you guys. I told you. 
there's someone they got involved in a relationship with and that person hurt them. So now that's why they want to come back and try to make things work with you. They got into this relationship too quickly with someone and now like they've either heard news or they will be hearing news about this person betraying them and stabbing them in the back. So I see them being single. Also, their stability is very much affected. This person isn't able to stand on their own. They're having financial issues. Okay. They've been getting a lot of bad news. They've also been having a lot of conflict from people or with people. They're not getting along with people. This person's very aggressive right now. But spirit wants you to continue to hold back, continue to be strong, continue to work on yourself spiritually. Okay. This person is a soulmate, but they were meant to um, teach you a lesson. Spirit wants you to learn from the past. Because see, if you were to take action or make judgment to be with this person or to come back together with them, they would still be dealing with a third party. And it wouldn't last because I see you guys moving forward. But regardless, I see you wanting better anyway. Okay, better is going to come to you. And also, you guys have been very much focused on yourself and your own wishes being fulfilled. And that's the right thing to do. Hmm. Okay, so let's get one more card for this person's karma that hurt you. All right. Give me more spirit. Yeah, they're stressed out about whoever hurt them. <laughs> they're stressed out. Give me more about this person's karma spirit for hurting Libra. Tell me more about this person's karma for hurting Libra. See, look. Look, the five of swords. So people are playing with this person's mind. People are, there's a lot of conflict surrounding this person. People are seeing them for who they really are. They feel defeated at this point. Hmm. someone was definitely cheating on them. So now they know they have to walk away. Like I said, they want to return back to you, but they don't, they don't know. They don't know if things would go anywhere between the two of you because they know you're very intuitive and they hate that. They don't like for you to use your intuition. Okay. But yeah, if you were to, that's why spirit wants you to continue using your intuition when it comes to this person. Guard yourself or fight this person off when it comes to having a relationship with them. Because see, this is someone that still has other options. See, they're secretly dealing with other options. They haven't learned their lesson. They haven't. Hmm. Give me more about... um this five of swords spirit why is this five of swords here for this person's karma why is the five of swords here thank you we have the seven of pentacles all right so this person invested with someone like i said that played games with them that other person had other options it was all an illusion it's like the grass wasn't greener on the other side Hmm. yeah it was an illusion the whole relationship was an illusion but they thought they what they had won themselves something like they thought they had won the prize with this option but now look at them stuck in their head thinking negatively and wanting you back like i said some of you are going to hear from them out of nowhere wanting to come back together but spirit is saying it would be a disaster and for some of you this person like their money is it's terrible right now like, they're not able to pay their bills. They're living beyond their means. Hmm. For some, they may end up losing a job. Okay. So, let's see what this person has to say for themselves, Libra, or what they, or what they want you to know. Okay. All right, spirit. What does this person currently want Libra to know? What does this person that hurt Libra currently want Libra to know? What does this person that currently hurt Libra want? What does this person that hurt Libra currently want Libra to know? What does this person that hurt Libra currently want Libra to know? All right. At the bottom of the deck, your words linger in my mind. So there's something that you said to this person and they think about it a lot. Give me more spirit for what this person wants Libra to know. 
thank you. I just wasn't ready for you. So this person is admitting that they weren't ready for a committed relationship with you. Thank you. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So this person is admitting that they're um they they've been going through some type of karma. Okay, they're feeling the consequences of their actions for getting involved with you when they know that they weren't ready. So some of you may have told this person they would reap what they sowed or that they were going to meet someone just like them or meet someone that did that does the same thing to them that they did to you. Give me more. That one fell on the floor. Give me more spirit. I can still feel you. So this person is saying that you're still in their energy. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. So this is someone, whatever you said, they know that you're right about it, but a hard head makes a soft butt, right? So they're saying that they have to come to their own conclusions. And I feel as though they have because they're feeling the consequences of their actions. I've thought a lot about you lately. So this person has been thinking a lot about you. Give me more spirit. No other compares to you. Wow. And that came out under, I just wasn't ready for you. So like I told you guys, you may have told this person that they weren't going to meet anybody else like you or that no one else was going to put up with their crap or they were going to reap what their, they sow. There's something you said. Your beauty still moves me. So this person feels as though you're very beautiful inside and out. I feel like for some of you, um, this person felt intimidated by you, whether it was your beauty or whether it was um, anything, anything that um, there was something about you that made this person feel as though they didn't deserve you or that you were better than them in some way. OK, but they're saying you're very beautiful to them. I'm a better person because of you. So they're saying that you made them better and our connection still affects me. Wow. So they're saying they're still very much affected by this connection. So let's get you guys some advice, all right, when it comes to this person. Spirit, give me advice for Libra when it comes to this person. Give me advice for Libra, Spirit. Give me advice for Libra when it comes to this person. Give me advice for Libra, Spirit. Wow. We had a few that came out and most of them fell on the floor except for this one. So we have the two of spades here. So with this energy, a spirit is saying that, okay, be careful when this person comes back around because it's not going to go anywhere. You guys are going to have a choice to make. Okay. You're going to have a choice to make regarding whether you want to be with this person or not, because we have a pair here. We have the king of swords. We have the king of spades along with the, um, the the queen of of diamonds okay oh my words are so we have a relationship we have a couple next to each other all right spirit is saying for some of you this person may want you for what you have okay so you do need to hold back when it comes to this person because they would betray you again this person would betray you again so for some of you you definitely may not need to entertain this person when they come back around. And if you haven't been entertaining them, that's good. Spirit is saying to continue to, to not entertain them because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not. This is someone that will always try to keep you blindfolded to the truth. Okay. All right. So Libra, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.